Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and it's Wednesday, which means just like we do every Wednesday here in Video Creators, it's time for some YouTube tips, ideas, suggestions, advice, things like that. And today, this video is actually sponsored by Videoblocks.com, where you can go and get unlimited downloads of royalty-free stock video footage for one low fee. But what is stock video footage and how do you use it anyway? Well, I actually use stock footage in every single one of my Video Creators videos here. Maybe you've noticed it, maybe you haven't. I want to share with you guys seven ways that I personally use stock video footage to increase the professionalism of my videos, to increase their production value and make them much more valuable for my viewers and more engaging. But before I get into those, first let's just make sure that we all understand what stock video footage is. It's video footage that can be used in other videos. Now, this is great because it can save you from having to shoot a lot of extra material when you're on the, when you're doing a shoot, or it can give you access to shots that you otherwise never would have been able to get. Or maybe you could have done that shot, but it would have taken you a lot of time and extra energy, maybe even expense to get that shot. So instead, you can simply use stock footage through sites like videoblocks.com. So how do I personally use them to make my videos more professional and more engaging? Well, number one, I use a motion background and my end card in every single video that I have here at Video Creators. Maybe you've noticed that when I'm closing up my videos, I get to the end, right behind all that stuff that's going on, maybe you don't notice it, but it was really subtle, motion there, just some, you know, gray and whitish dots just kind of floating around. I could just use like a solid white or a gradient image or something like that, but I kind of like the subtle motion that just kind of makes it look more appealing, I think. Number two, I also use stock motion backgrounds behind me when I'm doing Skype interviews here with other YouTube creators or other influencers. Again, I could just have a solid background, white or black or something behind there, but I like the subtle motion. Number three, stock video photos is also great for illustrating a point that you're trying to make. Like, for example, you could just stand in front of your camera and just talk about how busy New York City is, and you could just make that fact and leave it at that, or you can maybe enhance your point a little bit better, but while you're talking about how busy New York City is, you'd actually show some stock video footage of New York City being busy. It'll make your point much more memorable while really driving home the point you're trying to make, as well as giving more perceived value to your video and keeping people's attention instead of just listening to you talk talk about busyness, now you're giving them some visuals of what it actually looks like. Number four, you can also use stock footage to cover up some of your jump cuts and other harsh edits that you have to make to your video sometimes. Maybe you're just talking about New York City and you have a lot to say about it, but you have a lot of jump cuts you need to make and normally those are considered very jarring, very unprofessional, but if you can get the audio just at least sounding smooth, you just cover it up with some B-roll and no one will ever notice the difference. Number five, you can also take take stock footage and turn it into a nice professional, visually appealing lower third in your videos as well. Just simply take like a more abstract type of background motion graphic and crop it to the size that you want. You can also change the color a little bit if you want and the speed of it and make it a little bit more slower or faster depending on the effect that you're going for. And then simply put your text on top and voila, you have a nice professional lower third. Number six, stock photos is also great to just put some text over it and use it as like a branded intro or an opening for a section of your video or maybe for your entire video. So let's say for example, you have a pet channel about dogs. You could grab some stock Footage of some dogs, maybe blur out the background slowly a little bit to then have your text gradually appear on top and make a nice very professional looking, just title slate for your video. And number seven, you could do something very similar in just putting text over top of stock photos to emphasize a point that you are trying to make. So if you wanted to not just have a boring background for maybe the bullet points that you're showing on screen, grab some stock photos that goes along with the theme of your talk that you're giving or the message that you're talking about or just an abstract motion background and use that as a nice appealing visual to accompany the text that you're showing them on screen. There's a lot of different uses for stock photos and I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below about how else you use stock photos in your videos to increase the professionalism of your video, to increase their value and to keep viewers more engaged. And if you're looking for a place to get a lot of high quality stock photos and motion graphics, definitely go check out videoblocks.com. There's a link to them in the description text below to make it easy for you to go right over to their website. I love their mission which is to provide creative content that everyone can afford 
board and they definitely do that. When you go to their website, you can start your seven day free trial, which will let you download 140 clips completely for free from their library of over 115,000 different stock video clips and motion backgrounds. All of their material is completely 100% royalty free with no hidden charges or fees or anything in there at all. And what you download is yours to keep and use in everything and in anything that you create for now and forever. <laughs> After your seven day trial, if you'd like, you can continue for a monthly fee of $79. Or if you just wanna get access to it for a whole entire year, that is only $99, guys. That is a great deal for an unlimited royalty free license. Most other sites, you know, you'll pay a lot more money for that just to get access to one clip that you can only use one time in one video or other sites make it more complicated by charging you based on the number of views that you get or your distribution and you have to pay royalties on that. It gets all really complicated so I don't use those sites. It can become a huge headache to manage and videoblocks.com just makes it really simple, really easy, unlimited access to use anything you want on their site for one flat fee. It's just really easy. So click the link in the description of this video to go over to their site at videoblocks.com, download some great free stock photos and motion graphics for your channel and try it out for yourself. If this is your first time here at Video Creators, I would love to have you subscribe. Every Wednesday we do some YouTube tips just like this. Tomorrow on Thursday we'll do some YouTube Q&A where I'll take a question that one of you guys asks and do my best to answer it for you guys. And then on every Tuesday, we take a look at all the updates and the changes that are happening here at YouTube and talk about the implications that it has for us as creators. And I do all this, guys, because I really believe that a lot of you guys have messages that need to spread, that the world needs to hear. And I want to do everything that I can to help you guys grow your YouTube channels and to spread your message so that the people that need to find you and hear what you have to say can simply just find you and hear what you have to say. So thank you for letting me be a part of helping you guys grow your audiences and your YouTube channels. Subscribe and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.